All right, what's the best way to hardwire accessories in the front in a Tesla? Whether it's for a charger or a tablet or something else, do you need constant 12V power without voiding your warranty? Then this video is for you. If you like Tesla videos like these, please like and subscribe to Tesla Miles. I have a different video if you want switched 12V power for accessories, but this will give you constant power until your car goes to sleep. For this video, I'll be powering my phone charger slash phone holder, and I'll be installing my tablet to control my rear screens. First, let's go to VC left. And why don't I just tap a cable to the battery like all my other cars? Because this is a Tesla and a power surge from the battery could damage the penthouse and void your warranty. I've seen many customers with a $1,400 bill for short-circuiting the penthouse. Penthouse powers VC front, which powers the 12V battery VC left and VC right. Today, we'll tap the VC left. Okay, let's tap the correct wire. It's the thick red wire in the middle of the harness. You really have to dig into it. In my car, it's wrapped around the purple wire. It's not the thinner red wire that's wrapped around the black wire. By the way, I use positive taps to get into tight spaces. Link in the description below. And whenever I tap power, I protect it with a fuse. Here, I'm using 10 amps. Up to 15 should be fine for VC left but I just don't want warning messages from tripping the virtual electronic fuses. Just making sure I'm getting 12V, or technically 15V. Another option is to tap this thick red wire in the back. It might be hard to see. A third easy option is to buy a tow harness from Tesla. I got it for free, but I think it's like $5. You just stick it in and the red wire is constant 12V and the black wire is ground. But I like to tap my own ground. Just drill a small hole and sand down the paint. I find a screw that fits and tape it down. Let's remove the decor trim instrument panel. Remove the end caps first. It's easiest to pull where the steering wheel is and then move to the ends. So I wired up my power and ground and pulled it up to the sides. It goes under the decor panel. That's my 12V converter for my phone and phone holder. And I have my power adapter for my tablet pushed down into this air vent. Let's also remove this panel so we can access the splitter and the rear screens.
Depending on which tablet you have, you have to route your USB cable or DisplayPort cable from your tablet to your HDMI splitter. In order to route through the instrument panel, you have to remove your glove box. So let's remove the glove box. So first, remove this passenger footwell cover. There are four clips holding it up. And if your Tesla has a front passenger knee airbag, you have to remove that to get to the glove box. After removing the clips around the airbag, remove this Torx 20 screw. Now the airbag is held in place with these four larger screws. You need an external Torx E10 bit. Now you can disconnect the electrical connectors. You have to remove these six port point screws. Pull on this clip to release the top. Now route the cable up, fish it through the hole under the instrument panel, and then route it behind the Tesla screen. Okay, this is how I routed the cable from my HDMI splitter. Up the side, behind the glove box, and through the air vent under the instrument panel, and up behind the screen. So what did you think? And what do you want to see next? Comment below. We have a lot more projects up ahead, so subscribe to Tesla Mods.